Hey guys, this is probably going to be a video that many of you people is not going to like, but I'm going to be honest here. I want to buy an iMac. Um, I really want to buy an iMac. Like this month at the end or in June when I've heard that like uh, the 2012 uh, iMac and stuff like that is coming up. Now hold, hold on. Before you comment, hear me out, okay? It's not just that I want to change be a total Apple fanboy. Now, you should remember that I like a lot of companies. I use Apple products every single day of my life. Or, I mean, at least when I'm when I'm out and I'm listening to music, I always use my iPod. And I'm ready to buy a new iPod if Apple release one. So I could, you know, upgrade and everything and get the new iOS 6. Even though I'm mostly going to focus on the, on, the, on, the, on the music and everything. But I, I think my iPod is awesome, okay? I love my iPod. If you talk about smartphones... I like Android, you know, I, li I like Android. If you talk about computers, I like Windows, okay? And now I'm looking to buy an iMac. I really want to try it out. That's the first thing. I actually, I never, I never tried out an Apple product like an Apple computer. Yeah, you can probably call the iPhone 4 as a computer, but yeah, I really want to try it out. I really want to try out a Apple computer. And it's not just the thing that I want to try it out, but I mean, of course, I'm a reviewer. I really want to try out different products and, uh, you know, from huge companies and everything and see what the fuss is all about. And then also, um, one of the major things why I really want to buy an iMac is because I want to see how that's going to work out for me uh, when we talk about video editing because that's like the number one reason why I really want to try out an iMac uh, to edit videos, okay? Like only buy an iMac to edit videos and do all those things with it. Like try to make a little bit more like professional videos, see how it feels like to edit on, on an iMac uh, compared to edit on a vi Windows machine. Um, and the thing is that with editing things and stuff, um, we have this uh, thing with .mov files. Many of the like DSLR cameras out right now, they're recording these like formats, and th these formats are are works like very good with Apple computers, at least from what I've heard. And I mean, we do know that QuickTime it supports that .mov, and it's like the default program and everything like that. It feels like if you, if you would buy an iMac, if you would have your DSLR camera, if you record a lot of videos. And then you can just go ahead and go to that app store that's uh, or whatever right now. The I'm not sure what, what it's called, but uh, yet yeah, you have the app store in in the latest Mac OS. Uh, you can just go ahead and download a, a, a video editing app, and everything just seems like something I really want to try out and really want to see. Is this something I want to you know use for video editing? Uh, video editing, and uh, I mean I, I've seen a lot of people uploading videos on YouTube with like. Uh, it looks good, okay? It, it looks good. It's, it's very easy. They used to use an app on their iMac or whatever, and then and then they done that. And uh, that they have some pretty powerful video editing programs there. I mean, I've always been a Windows guy, and I, I'll, I'll, I still want to have Windows as my main machine, but I really want to try out like the full experience. I mean, I only tried out Mac computers in, um, in a kind of like a virtualized experience. And one of the things I don't like, uh, what I did like, what I didn't like about the Mac uh, experience there with Mac OS X was that I didn't th feel, you know, that I had this freedom that I have on Windows. And that's why I love Windows so much. Then, I mean, when you play like a video in one of these like video programs and then you want to resize your kind of video play editor, video editor you don't have that ultimate freedom to do exactly how you how you how you want to do it uh, that you have on like Windows at least it feels like that uh, and that some some like quick time app you can't like resize it however you feel like I mean like what the fuck is that uh, and also that yeah it feels like if I want to resize uh, if I want to have a ton of apps open up at the same time everything just feels like it's easier on a Windows machine and that I have a little more freedom and one, one other example is like when I install apps I tried out to install some apps in the Mac OS 10 line I was like, uh, you, you just have like uh, download and everything, uh, 
then then you get it to your desktop if you go ahead and download the, a, a install ins, installable file from or executable file whatever and I'll be called Mac OS you get it on like your desktop and then you just tap on it and then hit like install and then it's like BAM it's done but uh, I'm getting kind of afraid when I'm doing that because I'm not sure what the hell's going on in the background, like, and where, where, where can I see where the program got installed? It just feels like the the file explorer is kind of effed up in 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 a macOS machine. But that's also why I want to try it out. I want I want to see what the f it's all about. And then also it feels like the mouse is pretty effed up that you can't like right click or I mean you can like activate that uh, activate that uh, but I'm pretty sure uh, and I mean I really want to try out that mouse and then I, I never really realized why the mouse like you move, move around why is it so slow on a Mac at least when I've been like an Apple store it's very, very slow when you move around the mouse it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere what the heck is uh, that all about yeah that's that's the reason. I, I I'm I'm interested in 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 the Mac experience. But as I said, the main reason is I want to have like a separate computer to only do video editing and stuff like that on, and uh, you know try to bring out some some professional or some better content at least when I when I'm doing like unboxings and stuff. It, it really feels like it would be amazing to have use one machine to do all of those things with, and uh, you you like focus it on that I mean I see I really want to use Windows as my main machine but it's gonna be interesting am I gonna to turn to be an Apple lover you know only buy Apple no, no that's not my that's not my style I mean I, I've been using iOS a lot and I do know that uh, iOS and Mac OS 10 I mean uh, iOS is like based on Mac OS 10 so they have kind of many things that kind of similar so yeah I, I really want to buy like a 27 inch iMac and uh, th the funny thing is that I want to buy it in like May here at the end of May but I do know that the that the new IMAX is is coming up. You know that they that at least they should come up uh, for uh, for 20, 2012, and that they're gonna have like I think the new Intel Ivy Bridge or something like that. And uh, yeah, and yeah, they they will go. There has the name in Mac App Store. Yeah, I really want to try it out. Um, I'm so 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 interested in uh, how how it is. And everything, and um, yeah, um, I'm sure what you should say in the comments, but I I'm really interested. And uh, it's mostly iMacs I've been looking on. I mean, I, I know there's MacBook Airs and stuff like that, but I think that if I would go with the laptop, I would probably uh, pr probably take one of the Samsung Series Nine because I I really love Windows. You know, I I'm so horny Windows. But for video editing and just like listening to music and stuff, I, th I think that uh, Max, Max, Max are great. But I don't, I don't like that, like that locked up experience and uh, that, that they're promoting. Like if you, if you buy one machine, you're gonna buy it all. Okay. Um. I'm, I'm, okay. So I'm just gonna end this video right now. We will see if I'm gonna buy an iMac, but uh, I, I'm seriously considering it uh, because um, I, I really want to be like go serious in in video editing and stuff like that and become better at it. And it just feels like uh, I mean I tried it a lot on Windows machines. I've been using Vegas, but I mean I, I I've been I've been starting to realize that that program is kind of shit. Like uh, so many times, I've been like importing some .mov files, and then I have to like uh, then the program crash or something like that. And I want to like try to keep uh, the same kind of quality. And I mean, many video professionals is also using Macs when they're doing a lot of video editing stuff like that. And it's not just because they look good, but it's because they want to do a good job and uh, they have a lot of cash, so they are gonna like really try to do the best. Do the best work they can do. Have a good day, everyone. And uh, I, I will see you all on May the 3rd in London. No, I'm not going to see you there. I'm, I'm not going to be there. But I'm going to be home. And I'm going to watch the live stream on my Samsung Galaxy Note. On the Unpacked 2012 app. Yeah, see you all. Bye-bye.